Hay isn't only for horses. At the Shine Mountain Zoo, up to 70% of their animal collection use it for bedding and food. But a lack of hay is driving up the price. The hay that we do get, some of it has gone up close to $100 a ton, which probably doesn't sound like a, a lot to most people. But when you consider that we buy about 200 tons of hay a year, that can have quite an impact. Year to date, the zoo is $6,000 over on its hay budget. But unlike cutting costs with your grocery bills, the zoo doesn't want to change the type of hay they buy because consistency is key and changing from this to this could cause digestive issues. So Cheyenne Mountain Zoo is trying to cut costs in other departments and push off purchases that aren't necessary right now. But skimping on the animals isn't an option. Yeah, the people from Texas are migrating north and they're uh, buying up all the hay up by 25, all, going to all the ranches and everything, trying to feed their livestock. The folks over at Big R and Whitefield have been out of hay for the past three weeks. You can see their container that holds 320 bales is practically empty with only compressed hay left. They expect to have another shipment in the next three days, but after that, they've got to go searching for it. It's just getting in touch with those people and finding out where the hay is, and, and that's across the whole United States. A nationwide search that could be similar to finding a needle in a haystack.